Right, well, let's start with this. Welcome to Jacksonville. Um, at what point were you informed of the trade and that you'd be heading down here to Duval? Um, Tuesday, Tuesday when it happened. Uh, my agent called me and told me that it happened, and um, they got me on a flight later that night. Came down here and did the physical and everything, and then flew back out to Minnesota. So luckily, it was a bye week, and I was able to, you know, get everything situated. You know, obviously, you're coming off the foot injury too. So number one, how are you feeling? Number two, how did that kind of factor in, knowing a bye week was on the horizon? Yeah, um, in Minnesota, I was supposed to, you know, come back, start working in a little, and uh, having the bye week, the extra week to get everything back and going, uh, helped a lot. But also, not doing football movements for a whole week, you know, it, it's rough getting back into it. But it's nice to get back into it. I should have started big picture. What did you know about the Jaguars, and what's your reaction when you hear you've been traded to Jacksonville? Um, I'm going to be honest. I've been up north my whole life, being from Washington, then Idaho, going to Boise State, then Minnesota, and then, you know, straight down to Florida, the south. Um, I was nervous at first, um, mostly for the fiancé. Um, the move could be big on her. And, uh, you know, I get to know these guys. I'm around them all the time. But for her to get to know people, it's kind of difficult. So she was all giddy about it and excited. She's probably tired of being cold all the time. So she'll get down here and, you know, uh, enjoy the weather. I got a place by the beach for her, and uh, she really likes sushi. So we'll go to some good sushi spots, and, you know, hopefully it'll, it'll be a good move for her. Having spent some time in Iowa, I can tell you that the sushi's a little bit better. <laughs> a little bit better down here. Um, did Rousher text you? Did Rousher call you? Uh, he called me after it happened, and... Uh, I knew that he was down here, and I was excited to get to work with him again. Um, I missed him a lot these last two years. He's just a great guy. He's fun to be around, fun to play for, and uh, I'm excited to be back with him. How much has having him and his system here helped you ease in these last few days? Yeah, um, I think I got the playbook uh, down pretty much. There's a few things that are different. The lingo's a little different than when I was with him, but uh, in terms of just getting stuff down, um, I'm almost there, so I'm excited about that. What was the... Uh, as far as I know, I'm coming to be on the offensive line. Uh, I'm just, you know, trying to get the playbook down, and you know, I'll do whatever they tell me to do. I'm here to just be offensive lineman. Did Zeal kind of take you by surprise? Did you see the writing on the wall. What were your emotions on that? Uh, it was definitely a surprise. Um, my agent called me a little bit before it happened and let me know. And I had no idea. But other than that, like, I'm excited to be here and I'm excited to uh, play for these guys. Disappointed at first that, you know, you have 45 consecutive starts up there and they seem to give up on you? Um, I would say a little bit. I mean, I feel like if anyone was in that situation, they would they would feel that way. Um, but, you know, you, you got to – that's just the NFL. And, uh, you know, new team, I got to learn all these people's names and you get to know them. And the whole line's been great so far. Um, and I'm excited to play with them and, you know, dominate next to them. How about the role here in the room? Um, kind of being that backup next guy up, a little different, or, or how are you going to embrace that role? Uh, you know, I'm just here for the guys. Uh, I'm doing what I'm told. Um, if they want me to play, then I'll play. If I'm a backup, I'll be a backup. But I'm here to support the guys and get to know them and, you know, learn the offense the best I can. And if I'll be ready whenever, you know, my number's called. Fully healthy again? Oh, I'm getting there. Getting there. Yeah, I would say probably 95%. Uh, having, we were talking about earlier that having an extra week um, was good for me. Um, you know, getting the toe back healthy and everything. So it's, it's, got, it's exciting. Is that what it was about? Injury? Or yeah. It was yeah, just a little bit. Had a guy land on me. <clears throat> so. For a guy like Black Duck Peterson, how much does that yeah. excite you? Super Bowl. Yeah, for sure. And I've only heard positive stuff about Doug. My offensive line coach from college, actually, once he figured out I got traded, called me. And I guess he played for him. So uh, there's a little connection there. But, you know, I met Doug, and uh, he's a great guy, and I'm excited to play for him. I feel like everybody has a crazy Roucher story. Do you have a crazy <laughs> Roucher story for us? Um, not necessarily. I just know that we both share the love for Costco. I've, I've already been to the local Costco. Uh, it holds up. It's a good place. Uh, I don't know if they have gas there, though. Do they? They do. They do. Okay, yeah. I didn't see that. I was yeah. bummed. One well, on Beach Boulevard, so yeah, go to that one. Okay. Yeah, or, or the one by the town center. Okay. I think they have gas. I might be thinking of Sam's Club. <laughs> it's maybe sacrilegious. Okay, I didn't see yeah. gas, so I was a little bummed Sam's out. Sam's Club does have it. Okay. I don't know if that's like, Costco. against the rules. Yeah, Costco, Costco guy. guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's against the rules. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll have to look that up. I didn't look hard yesterday because the truck has, you know, three quarters of a tank, but <laughs> we'll figure it out. 
guys fly or drive? Uh, I flew. Fiance's not here yet, but I, I flew. You know, they shipped the truck down here, took care of all that, so. I know Van Lannan had to drive. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. That's why I was like, oh, oh my you gosh. Have another expedition from wow. that neck of the woods. Hey, just in general, where this organization is right now, uh, on the come up, in the mix, in the hunt. Yeah. Um, good place to be right now, it feels like, right? For sure. You know, um, everyone here is in a really good mood. And everyone's been really nice. I can't tell if that's from you know being six and two, or I'm sure it's because of sunny weather. You know, I've never, I haven't been in a place with a bunch of sunny weather. So, um, but no, everyone's been really nice, and uh, it's exciting to come into a contender, and hopefully, I can help them out. I know the, you said the lingo is a little different. Are the, are the offense is similar. How do you feel about like the, the, the way that they run the ball, the pass the ball? Is it a similar kind of offensive scheme? Uh, as Minnesota? Yeah. Minnesota was kind of mid-zone, mid to wide zone. Um, there's a lot of tight zone here, but uh, the tight zone's the same as, like, when I played for Gary Kubiak two years ago, uh, it's kind of the same as that situation. So I've been in this type of uh, offense before. That's why it's a little easier to pick up. But um, Like I said, I'm getting it down pretty well. I'm excited to, you know, run the plays out of practice. I took a few reps today and, you know, felt good, and it wasn't – I kind of was dialed in mentally, and I'm excited to, you know, get more reps in that and get better. Is that one you prefer a little bit more? Is there one tight zone versus the white zone? Uh, not necessarily. Um, each of them have their perks, and, you know, I mean, their pros and cons. Um, but I'm just excited to play. Speaking of perks, you go from what's considered the best facility, practice facility, to mm -hmm. the newest facility. Can you, can you, <laughs> I mean, they're both fantastic. Uh, Minnesota, spoiled, I think. yeah, if you were here for sure. Here, you may have a different answer. I did see it. Uh, Minnesota, everything's darker. Um, everything's a lot brighter here. A lot of windows. Um, yeah, not a lot of windows in Minnesota because I mean you're gonna look at dark in the winter anyway. So, but no, they're both fantastic. Uh, this place is really nice. Is the fiance excited about the move? Uh, yeah, she so she made it a lot easier to uh, you know accept that I was coming here. I was worried at first just because, you know, she has to meet new people and stuff. But um, she's cold all the time, so it's good to come to Florida where it's warm and uh, good food and stuff. We're talking about how she likes sushi. Yep. But, no, she's excited, and that makes me excited.